Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine and Tech Help Show, and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up all your critical system files to a external media device. Never a good idea to back up all your files onto the same hard drive that you uh, are backing up, because uh, one of the primary causes of failure and data loss is a uh, you know, hard drive failure. So what you want to do is make sure you have a, I don't know, external flash drive, CD, for a CD burning, DVDs are good because you can put a lot on them. If for some reason you have a Blu-ray burner, you can do that too. Uh, but uh, always remember, have an external device you're backing up to because if the primary one fails, you're going to be out of luck. So let's go ahead and get started. It's very easy to do in Windows 7. Just go down to the Windows Start button and select it and then type in Backup. And uh, the first section that comes up is Backup and Restore, so go ahead and select Backup and Restore. And uh, what you want to do is there's a backup or restore your file section, and it's not set up on mine right now. So you click on the right-hand side, set up backup, and it's going to initialize the Windows 7 backup functions. Now you can actually choose where you want to uh, back up to. In this case, I can choose a rewrite drive, so I can back up to a DVD or a CD-ROM drive. Um, or you can save it to a network if for some reason you have another computer or a extra device for those of you who are in a networking environment you can do it that way and if you plug in any other devices here like an external hard drive a flash drive you'll be able to select those as well so let me go ahead and select CD DVD rewrite and click next and then at this point you can actually choose what you want to back up um, Windows will choose all your primary, uh, usually what people determine to be the core data files, everything in your documents, all of your personal settings, and things like that. I actually don't recommend doing that. I actually recommend going to Let Me Choose because that's the only way you're going to guarantee that uh, you're going to get exactly what you need and then click Next. And then at this point, it's really easy to do. You can just go through. Of course, Windows decides we're going to back up Craig Chamberlain's libraries and we're going to back up for the newly created users. Then I can actually click the drop down next to my C drive here and I can go through each folder and check off the ones that I also want to back up. So that's, that's really the best way to do that. And then once you've done that, just click next again. It gives you a nice little summary of everything you wanted to back up. And then you can change your schedule here to whatever you'd like. Uh, sure, every Sunday at 7. I'm not actually going to keep this. But if I say click save settings and run backup, it's going to actually run it through the initial backup phase. See, as you can see right here at the top, it says Backup in Progress. So let me go click View Details. And what it's doing right now is creating a shadow copy of my drive, which is really important. Uh, basically, it makes the files in the background so that it can properly burn them at that point. So after this, it's going to ask you to enter the, insert the media. So you're backing up to a CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM drive. And um, if you have an external drive, it'll ask you to insert it and things like that, or it'll fail and it'll pop up and do all kinds of fun stuff. So that's all there is to this video. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. And um, pretty much, uh, if you have any questions, just swing by the forum, or you can uh, send me a message on any of the major social networks. I'm not very good at following up on questions on YouTube because they're kind of goofy. They're all over the place. Um, so uh, the best thing to do is to email me or uh, send me a message like on Facebook or something or post at the Facebook page. That's a good way to do it. Uh, and don't forget to uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe on YouTube if you're not. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. Uh, you can follow the company as well. That's at PC Michiana. Um, and you can also follow on Facebook. Uh, I have a profile, personal one. That's Craig Chamberlain. And then there's uh, the PC Michiana Tech Help Show on Facebook as well. So thanks for stopping by and stay tuned. There's more videos to come.